guys, it's Wendy from Finger Sticks Gallery. So um, we had a pretty awesome thunder and lightning storm last night and we had a couple strikes that were close and they knocked out all of our GFI outlets. So basically all of my outlets <laughs> in my studio are not working. So I have no additional lighting other than the fluorescence and my camera. So um, although the storm was great, it, um, knocked out, actually knocked out several of our GFIs. So, um, last video, um, oh, second to last, the, the one previous was the, um, the skins, how to do skins. This was the one I did for, um, some loved ones who are going through some rough stuff. Uh, I'm going to put a, some sort of a inspirational saying on this. I just haven't found the right one yet. Um, the skins that I did, I actually put a nice couple coats of just regular Elmer's school glue on the back of the, the skins to kind of give it a little stability. And then once you can get it around the edges, it peels off pretty easily. So that's, those are my skins. So the glue on the back is a, a nice little tidbit of information you might want to use. Okay, so I'm going to do a swipe. I've wanted to do a brown swipe for a long, long, long time. Um, and I wanted to do more of earth tones, nothing super crazy. I am going to add in a teal. Um, so this background, and I also wanted to use the Extreme Sheen Gold, but I ran out. So the background is coated in about half of this Deco Art Extreme Sheen Sterling Silver. And then about half of the folk art antique gold, just to give it more of a goldy color. But I kind of wanted to see if we can get some cells or um, has Judy Cuts, uh, Julie Cuts calls them uh, the pearls coming up through the background. So I really, really wanted to do um, the brown swipe. So the swipe color is going to be this burnt umber and the metallic um, antique copper from folk art. It's about a 50-50 mix. There's no oil in this mix, um, but it is, it's just like the 50, 50, cause I really wanted to give it a little more sheen with the metallic. So the background colors, I cannot fully tell you <laughs> what they are. Cause they're my own little mixes. Uh, this is shoot. I can't, I don't even think it's a real, it's, it's not even a real red. It's a, an off color red. I added a little tiny bit of black to it just to give it a little, a uh, darker color little tiny bit of oil. There's probably one, one drop of the treadmill silicone per probably two ounces of paint. I'm, I'm doing it a little bit. Uh, I'm not using as much oil. I just want to see what happens. So, and then this is orange. Um, I can't tell you what color again, it's a mix of a few different colors, but there's oil in this one also. I did not put any oil in this. This one is just straight antique gold metallic from folk art. So this doesn't have the, uh, the silver in there at all. So this is just straight, straight gold from folk art. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of this, uh, turquoise color or tealy turquoise. It doesn't have any oil in it, but I just thought maybe it'd give it a little bit of personality if I did it that way. So, all right. And I'm going to do a center swipe. Um, I think some people are calling them like a mirror swipe or a reflection swipe. So you do the swipe in the middle and you go, you know, to the sides. So I don't think I've done that before, but I sure as heck hasn't, haven't done the, these colors with the brown swipe color. So I'm really excited. Um, so I'm just going to kind of do this a little bit. It's not anything particular. Well, well, y'all almost landed in my, uh, in my painting there. <laughs> Holy moly. I'm going to maybe tape you down a little bit better. I actually, in my studio, I don't really have a studio. Um, my, my phone is actually taped to, I wish you could see this. It's really funny. Um, it's actually taped to a, uh, light bulb box and it's propped up on a little bottle of apple barrel paint. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> failure is definitely a possibility here. Um, anyway, <laughs> it's never boring in the life of an artist, is it? Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> one of these days I will have to break down and actually get some, some real equipment. Oh my goodness. Um, so I'm just trying to, uh, I'm not covering the whole background. I, I actually have really enjoyed doing, um, the negative space swipes. Actually, I'll show you too really quick. The negative space swipes I love to do lately are these guys. So there's a ton of negative space all around it. I love doing them. They're so pretty. So, um, I'm not flooding the canvas with my accent colors by any means. That's why I did the background color because I really, I just, I don't want it to be, if I can help it too busy with all these extra colors. And then this is the only color I'm using that doesn't have the oil, the only accent color. I just thought it would be really pretty with the, the brown and the copper because this, the teal, even a little bit darker, like the Caribbean turquoise color, um, looks so pretty with that copper color and a little bit of red. It just makes it look really elegant. Okay, why? I'm almost thinking... Maybe I will do that. I'm going to I'm going to give it a little shot of the burnt umber. I just I have it pre-mixed. There's no oil in it, but why not? Just feels like it's missing something. Okay. All right. And I'm actually not going to touch it. I'm going to leave it the way it is. And then going to just add, I'm going to kind of guesstimate where the center is. All right. And then I'm going to use my trusty gloss finish, uh, sheet protector and I can get two. Yeah, I can get two swipes pretty easily. Okay. Maybe I will overlap it a little bit. Maybe it'll give it a little more character. I don't know. And I'm not adding any additional pressure. I'm just kind of pulling across. The biggest thing, I just really want to make sure it's contacting all the way down. Oh, and there's gnats in here too. Gosh darn it. I, uh, we were trying to figure out the, the power problem this morning after the thunder and lightning storm. And we, our garden is literally maybe four feet from my door. So we've got, oh shoot, we've got some tomatoes that are, um, they're starting to rot a little bit. And the gnats have really made their presence known in my gallery. That might show a little bit. Oops. Try to get the edges best that I can. All right. Dang nabbit, I do not like that at all. Shoot, what am I gonna do? Hold on. I'm gonna grab another sheet protector. Oh, that one's way better. Yeah, the other one had a little bit of a wahoo on the end a little bit, so. Oh no! Come on, you bugger. Stick. If you do it quick enough, you can actually swipe it twice, too, if you really had to. Oh, 
Oh, big paint booger. I see you. I see your ugly little face. Oh, it's huge. Come on, you little stinker. There. Okay. And then for the edges, I'm just going to dab it with my finger, I think, because I really don't want to really dig in with the business card because I use my business cards, my old business cards, and I really don't want to dig into the, the color too much. So just dab it with your finger. It's okay to touch your painting. Don't be afraid. Go all the way around the outside. At least make it look consistent. Kind of like you meant to do it. Okay, I'm gonna flip him around again. Make sure everybody is even around the outside. All right, and then I'm gonna grab the torch. Don't really need to torch it too awful much. And I think next time when I do this, I don't think I'm gonna add any oil because this is almost too many cells for me. So I don't think I'm gonna add any oil to anything. I'm just gonna do, uh, the mix is basically just Floetrol and paint. Depending on the paint you're using and the consistencies, um, it's either, uh, some of the paints are 50-50, some I do two thirds Floetrol, one third paint. It just depends on the paint you're using. So, and then he's going to continue. He was the last spot. So he's going to continue to work and do his thing. So, um, it'll start morphing and do its own little thing, um, over all oh, probably five or 10 minutes or so. Uh, but I will bring you in for a close up. but I just want to do to show you, I did a brown swipe and I'm kind of happy with it. It almost looks like retro kind of, um, old fashioned, maybe sixties, seventies. It looks really kind of cool. So, um, all right. Hang on, if I can untape you, I'll bring you in. And I'll actually, I will show you my setup here. It's pretty sad. Light bulb box, <laughs> apple barrel paint. Um, anyway, you do what you gotta do on a budget, right? Um, so the colors are really pretty. The, there's a little bit of the, the metallic in there. So I think what I'm definitely going to do is I'm going to varnish this one because of all of the uh, the metallic colors in there. So I just kind of wanted to do something different. Um, just to show everybody that, you know, you don't have to use one specific kind of, of swipe color, which I was doing for so long, mix it up a little bit, do something new and exciting. So, um, here's, here's my brown swipe. Pretty happy. So until next time, everybody hope you have a great week and I will, or you will see me soon.